Hello everybody! By popular demand, I decided to publish a series of Oblivion Extreme Graphics modding tutorials on YouTube. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I blew up my entire install of Oblivion with the mods that I installed, so I have to redo it. And I figured while I was redoing it, I might as well record what I'm doing. So it's going to be a tutorial and I'll try to explain uh, to the best of my ability what I'm doing at each step and in order to mod Oblivion and achieve the extreme graphics that you've seen in some of my videos it is not an easy task and it does take a long time so you do need to consider it a hobby because it's going to take you probably days to get the level of realism or photorealism that you've seen in my videos so why don't we jump right into the very first step. Uh, you see on my screen that I'm downloading Oblivion again, and that's the most critical thing to do if you're going to mod Oblivion. You need to start with a fresh copy of Oblivion with no mods whatsoever. And in a moment I'll show you the steps you need to take to make sure that you're doing a fresh install of Oblivion. But let's take a look at the mods that we're going to cover in this tutorial. First we're going to install the Oblivion Mod Manager, then we'll install the Oblivion Script Extender, then the Oblivion Graphics Extender, which is the most important of all, the OBGE, then Rye Bash, then Carl's Texture Pack 3, then the really almost everything viewable when distant mod, uh, all natural weather, the natural environments, the habitat and the vegetation modules only in the natural environments, then God rays, volumetric screen space ambient occlusion, and liquid water, which are three modules that we're going to use with the Oblivion Graphics Extender, then immersive interiors, illumination within, and cities alive at night. Okay, so first let's make sure that we're making a fresh install of Oblivion. Uh, step number one is to find um, your Oblivion install folder if you've already installed Oblivion. Um, in this case, and throughout this tutorial, you're going to see Steam as my folder uh, because I've downloaded it through Steam. Um, so I found it in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and here's all of my um, Steam games. You know, you'll see Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Oblivion. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do if you've made an install of Oblivion is to just rename this file. Rename the entire folder, I mean. Say, Oblivion Old. There. And that will clear out the, um, uh, the name Oblivion as a folder so Steam can reinstall it. And then, of course, once Steam has finished downloading Oblivion, it will have created a brand new folder that says Oblivion, and this is what a clean install looks like. And this is what you want to begin with. There's one other place that you have to make sure you clear out before you install the fresh copy. There's also a folder called Oblivion in your games folder. And the best way to find that is to go to um, your main drive, and then the users folder, then your username, and then documents and my games. Another way to find that is just to click my documents and then click my games. And you'll see an Oblivion folder there if you've already installed it. If it is there, you do have to rename this too. You have anything that's in here, you have to just name it to old. And that's how you do it. And then once Steam downloads the game, then it will install a new Oblivion folder and you'll have a fresh oblivion.ini file. Now the reason that we're moving the folder and we're not changing, we're not just deleting it, it's because you may have some saves in your um, current Oblivion folder in My Documents, My Games. Uh, for instance, here's one that um, I had, see, here's a bunch of my saves. You don't just want, you don't want to delete those. We are going to replace those later on. In fact, we can move, now that I've um, made a fresh install of Oblivion, I can take one of my old save folders and move it, I just uh, pressed Control X to, uh, to actually cut it, and then we can move it right into this folder. 
And by the way, the reason that we're renaming the folder instead of deleting it is because you may have some saves or you know save files in your previous Oblivion folder. And that was the case in mine. See, I had some saves. So in order to move those into your fresh install, all you have to do is just click it and then copy it. I clicked Control C and that's um, and now I've got it in the, the paste bin. And then I click the new Oblivion folder that Steam created and I simply paste the saves into this one. And um, it d just depends on how many saves you have. It might be a fairly big one and it might take a few seconds to copy. Okay, so now we want to just go into the game and make sure that everything looks good before we start modding it. So when you click on the launcher, um, it's going to try to detect your graphics hardware for the first time. And all you have to do is just kind of let it set, set the quality to whatever it wants to. And then we're going to switch to ultra high. And the reason is, is because I've got a graphics card that can handle it. Um, I'm also setting my resolution to 1920 by 1080. Uh, Anti-aliasing, unfortunately, has to be turned off because we're using high dynamic range lighting. Okay, and let's go into the game. Okay, the first thing you need to do is uh, move all of your video settings up to the max because it doesn't do that uh, originally. You actually do have to manually do it yourself. Um, Unless it, it, unless it recognizes your graphics card and it knows exactly what it is, but Oblivion doesn't, isn't aware of most of the newer cards. So yeah, there we go. Um, turn all this on, but leave this off. Do not turn this on. Leave bloom lighting off and um, leave anti-aliasing off. Okay, and now we're going to hop into the game just to see what it looks like. Okay, here we are in the game, and I've got the frame rate uh, overlay up at the upper left and upper right, just so you can see what kind of frame rate we're getting. Um, you'll see it says 30 frames a second. That's because that's what I'm recording at. So as long as it's 30 or above, we're fine. Uh, right now, it's actually 60 frames a second if I weren't recording. So this is the vanilla install of Oblivion, like right out of the box. And you can see, I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad at all, except this looks hideous. Um, and, you know, the trees look okay. Um, the trees are swaying. Everything's looking good. So now we're going to start modding. Okay, so let's start with the first mod, which is the Oblivion Mod Manager. You can find the download link in the description in this video. Once you download it, um, go ahead and extract it. Um, this, by the way, my videos assume that you know how to use... Uh, um, a zip file and how to use a 7z or a RAR file. If you don't know how to use those uh, different types of um, uh, archive files, uh, you need to research it on the web and learn how to extract and how to manage these files because that's outside the scope of this uh, install. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got a um, folder, so now we simply run the setup. And uh, it's running a little slower because I'm downloading uh, Rage right now. <laughs> um, actually, I'm preloading Rage, which is a 22 gigabyte file. Okay, and then just go ahead and let it... This is... I'm just picking the, the standard defaults for all of these. And it will install Oblivion Mod Manager, and then you'll get this. Uh, and the help screen comes up, which we don't really care about. Come on! Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the Rage install because this is just going too slow. Okay, so then you get the Oblivion Mod Manager. And um, this is where you're going to manage the load order of all of your mods. And it installs it right into the um, Oblivion folder. So here it is, the Oblivion Mod Manager. And you can go ahead and make a link to that if you want because you're going to be using it a lot. Well, that's the end of part one of my Oblivion Extreme Graphics modding tutorial. Look for part two very soon, and when it's available, I'll add an annotation right here on the screen. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to my channel.